All right, so we're starting a uterine fiber embolization procedure uh, through the wrist. Uh, this is something called radial access. As you can see, uh, the patient's lying down very comfortably with the wrist outstretched. Uh, the advantage of going through the wrist is that, you know, patients could be much more comfortable. Uh, we don't really have to go through the groin. They don't have to lie flat after the procedure. Um, and they could pretty much start walking right after the procedure. Uh, uterine fiber embolization, it's a procedure where we essentially go into the vessels feeding fibroids and we stop the blood flow to those vessels and by stopping the blood flow to those vessels we could essentially stop uh, the feeding of the fibroids. Alright, so following access into the radial artery we do inject uh, some medicines, um, one's called nitroglycerin, another one's called heparin and then a cathode channel blocker. And what that helps us do is dilate that radial artery which is a small artery and make sure it doesn't go into spasm. And there it is, that's the uterine artery. And what you can see is a big, a big, a big vessel fit in fibroids in the superior aspect of the uterus. Uh, once we've identified the fibroids, we're gonna start injecting these particles. They're called embospheres. The function of the embospheres are basically to block the papillary network of the uh, fibroids and basically goes really deep into those fibroids to make sure blood flow cannot get to the fibroids. Uh, these particles are about 60 times the size of a red blood cell. A red blood cell is a vessel, is a, it's a cell that carries oxygen to basically everywhere in your body, including your brain. In the case of fibroids, fibroids need oxygen to continue to live. The whole concept behind uterine fibroid embolization is to ensure we could deprive those fibroids of oxygen, and by doing that, we deprive, of, uh, deprive the fibroids of red blood cells. If red blood cells cannot get to the fibroids to deliver oxygen to the fibroids, then they simply only have one option to start to shrink and die. And that's a concept. Once you've basically injected the particles, you're basically looking at uh, the screen the whole time to make sure there's continuous forward flow within the vessel to ensure that those particles only go into fibroids. Once you stop having forward flow, we stop injecting. We know at that point that the fibroids are completely infiltrated by the particles and there should be no more flow within those fibroids. So now we're at the conclusion of our procedure. You can see on the screen here, um, you can see that the fibroids are really nicely stained with contrast material, which means that the particles that we put into the fibroids are nicely within the fibroids and they really have no blood flow anymore. Uh, once we're done with the procedure, the next thing we're gonna do is basically try to achieve hemostasis on the radial artery sides. And again, this is one of the advantages of going through the radial artery. Uh, we're just going to put in this device called a uh, radio compression device and that essentially um, achieves hemostasis on the artery in about 30 minutes or so. Um, once the radio compression device is taken off, the patient could pretty much go home uh, with pain medicines. So as you can see, this whole procedure has taken us about 20 to 25 minutes um, all through uh, a very tiny pinhole access in the wrist. You know, this is compared to a surgery where, you know, you could have opened up uh, to have an open myomectomy or have a laparoscopic myomectomy and the recovery from that is, um, is much harder. You can see that the patient is completely awake. You can hear everything I'm saying. What we've gone through is basically a very small vessel in the wrist, just like putting an IV line and should go home in about an hour. And that's how you turn fibroid embolization. Why don't you click the link below? It's gonna schedule you for your appointment. It's a free appointment, but we'll get to the bottom of, of what the problem is and we'll see how we can help you out so you can feel better.